you know many a time it happens that our words we make casual remarks about others when we talk to our friends and family members relatives we are very good in making rash judgments rash comments and casual comments most of these comments are very hurting and most of the comments will pierce the heart of others most of the comments will hurt the wound hurt the people those who listen so the um, there is something that the lord says today about this proverbs chapter 12 verse 18 we read like this proverbs chapter 12 verse 18 the word of god says rash words are like sword thrust rash words are like sword thrust but the tongue of wise brings healing but the tongue of the wise brings healing so my dear brothers and sisters this is something that we all need to examine our conscience and see sometimes we make rash judgments rash words which are like a sword thrust inside the body but those people who are wise those who are with wisdom those who are prudent their words will surely bring healing praise the lord praise the lord was 19 we read was 19 we read truthful lips endure forever truthful lips endure forever but a lying tongue last only a moment but a lying tongue last only a moment so today the lord is telling us we we are very good in hurting others why don't we use good words supporting words helping words encouraging words make others grow than hurt others so this is what the lord is telling us many a time in our family members wherever we are we make judgments rash judgments comments and hurting words hurting comments insulting words accusing words that is not good it hurts and destroys the other person but those who are with wisdom and knowledge those who are with the connection with god they will their words will always encourage and bring healing for our body healing for our emotion examine your conscience and see your comments and words are they hurting your life partner your comments certain comments when you are angry you want to pierce the heart of the other person therefore you make very rash judgments and hard hard comments it really hurts the other person though the other person keep quiet but that other person's heart is wounded so the lord says if you are a man or woman of wisdom you will never make rash comments which hurts the other person but your words will heal the wound of other per- person if you are words are healing the other person that means you have wisdom of god but if your words are hurting the other person that means the wisdom is far from you praise the lord praise the lord truthful lips end yours forever but a lying tongue last only a moment this is what the word of god speaks to us today praise the lord, praise the lord. Thank, you, thank you jesus praise you jesus. jesus let's listen to this in the moments of struggle suffering and pain and sorrow he is still with us he loves us we will come to know only afterwards that god was with us at the moment of suffering we may think we are alone but later we will come to know more than ever the lord was close to us at those moments that is our experience so when god loves us so much what are we supposed to give him back there are two things that we need to give him back the first thing our holiness our holiness is the response that we can give to god our gratitude should be seen through our holiness our holiness is the response to god the second thing that the lord wants us to do is proclaim his name in front of others testify what god has done in your life in front of others because god's intention in coming to this world is to save the whole humanity jesus came and preached the gospel and sacrificed himself and he told us go to the ends of the earth and proclaim the gospel so therefore this is very important thing we need to share our testimony of faith our testimony of healings There are so many people who have received healings and deliverance and miracles and conversions and repentance through the live streaming. It is our duty to proclaim it and share it in front of others. If you don't testify it, we are doing a a kind of ingratitude 
lack of love for god we are stopping him from being spread in the whole world it is our duty to testify him we read like this in the word of god second maccabees chapter 3 verse 36 second maccabees chapter 3 verse 36 we read like this he bore testimony to all he bore testimony to all concerning the deeds of the supreme god concerning the deeds of the supreme god which he had seen with his own eyes which he had seen with his own eyes see he bore testimony to all concerning the deeds of the supreme god which he had seen with his own eyes the deeds of god which he has seen with his own eyes he gave testimony Praise the Lord. Lord. It's very important. Let's read Tobit chapter 12 verse 6 to 7. Book of Tobit chapter 12 verse 6 to 7. This is also a very important word of God. Then Raphael, angel Raphael, then Raphael called the two of them privately. Then Raphael called the two of them privately. And said to them, Bless God and acknowledge Him. Bless God and acknowledge Him. In the presence of all the living. In the presence of all the living. For the good things He has done for you. For the good things He has done for you. Angel Raphael himself comes and tells us, Bless God and acknowledge Him in the presence of all the living. For the good things He has done for you. It is a command from heaven my dear brothers and sisters we have to glorify god for what god has done in our lives it will spread it will spread the glory of god among the other people they all will start believing in god they will see the glory of god doing the lord is doing what god the lord is doing in our midst and let's read bless and sing praise to his name bless and sing praise to his name with fitting honor declare to all people with fitting honor declare to the all the deeds people. of god the deeds of god with fitting honor declare to all people the deeds of god all what god has done in our lives we have to declare it we have to tell everyone don't be slow to acknowledge him don't be hesitant many people they are hesitant to acknowledge what god has done in their life they are ashamed to profess in front of others that god has healed them god has performed mighty miracle in front of them they want to prove it as if they had done by themselves but my dear brothers and sisters it's a gift of god blessing and i would like to thank all those thousands of people who have this ten sent their testimonies every day to divine uk ministries for what god has done in your life through attending this live streaming every day god has blessed you mightily and you have sent the testimonies to us and all the others who could not tes- testify who could not send your testimony or did not take the time to test send a testimony don't worry but make sure that now itself without delay do not be slow to acknowledge him without delay acknowledge what god has done in your life glorify god by sending the testimony so that we can read it out whenever whichever that is possible we will read it out in front of others it will glorify the lord in front of all the living people in this world praise the lord, praise the lord. and that is our duty we have to do it my dear brothers and sisters that is what the god is the lord is telling us today through this word of god thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. Praise, you, jesus. praise you jesus as we join in this holy adoration we speak to the lord and when we speak to the lord the lord will answer us normally we speak to other people when we are in crisis when we are in problem when we are in sorrow when we are in tension when we go through some conflict we call our friends we call our beloved ones we call our community members or somebody and share with them all our problems even the minute things and even private things confidential things but later we feel being betrayed cheated and sometimes even those things which you thought it will be confidential is made public and you come to know that you are betrayed and you are cheated by those people whom you trusted a lot and that is what normally you feel and normally that is what where, where we end up when we share our private and personal things to others but bible says if we share the things with jesus if we share our personal things and confidential things and all the pri- all the most important painful things that we are going through if you share it with jesus 
he will not humiliate you he will not insult you or betray you but he will answer you he will speak to you psalm 119 verse 26 we read like this psalm 119 verse 26 we read the word of god speaks to us when i told of my ways when i told of my ways you answered me you answered me teach me your statutes teach me your statutes when i told of my ways when i told of you answered ways, me you answered my dear brothers and sisters every day make sure there is there should be a time early morning when you get up tell him of your ways what you are planning to do what you are going to do what you are intending to do and all the struggles that you are facing in your daily life speak to him share with him he will answer you he will not humiliate you he will not insult you or betray you or cheat you in front of others and put you every details in the facebook and insult you he will never do that your friends may do it those people people whom you trust lot may do it but the lord will never do it just make sure that you find some time and share all your ways to the lord and tell him what you are going through and what you are planning to do he will answer you he will speak to you in in your own way when you know each each person the lord has his own way to speak to the lord knows which language you will understand the lord lord knows which language i will understand not only the language with language that we speak even the experiences and even the incidents of our life we need to understand as a communication of god the lord is communicating to us something through all this incident that happens in our lives praise the lord praise the lord so the, just tell jesus he will tell you what he wants to tell you he will answer you my dear brothers and sisters today the lord is telling you that you should share only when you share you will get back only when we share you will grow only when you share you will be given more not only in the spiritual life but also in the material life in this worldly life only when you are ready to share you will get what you need when you share with somebody when you are in need somebody will share with you all those who share will get back one way or the other Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us read this passage. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 25 onwards. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 25 onwards we read like this. A generous person will be enriched. A generous person will be enriched. Generous person means who is ready to give, very generously give. That person will be made rich, will be enriched. and one who gives water will get water and, and one, one who, who gives, gives water, water will get water the the way you give you will also will be getting back you will surely get back something or the other today or tomorrow for every sacrifice that you do for others when you are so generous god will be so generous with you because you are generous with others i have experienced this this word of god is so truthful in our lives it is we we all have experienced it when you are ready to share you will get back more and more god will open you are you are sky and you will be you will be blessed with unimaginable blessings let's read verse 26 the word of god says the people curse those who hold back grain the people curse those who hold back grain those who are not ready to give back their richness those who are not ready to share they will only get curses they will never get any blessings but a blessing is on the head of those who sell it but a blessing is on the head of those who sell it even if you are ready to sell it even if you are ready to share it even if it, even if even though it is a selling but you are ready to share there will be blessing praise the lord praise the lord verse 27 we read like this verse 27 Whoever diligently seeks good whoever diligently seeks good seeks favor seeks favor but evil comes to the one who searches for it but evil comes to the one who searches for it whoever diligently seeks good seeks favor you know we all need favor from god we all need some special goodness graces protection blessings but the lord says when you are diligently seeking to do good in fact you are seeking the favor from heaven it is equal the helping the doing good to others is equal receiving the favor from god is equal is same 
so the moment you are seeking to do good to others the moment the blessings and favors coming from god that happens simultaneously so it is equal to do that whoever diligently seeks good seeks favor they are in fact seeking favor is same when you seek good favor comes but those who do evil comes to the but evil comes to the one who searches for it anybody wants to do evil to others the same way just like when you do good the favor comes from god the same way when you do evil evil comes to you when you are ser- diligently searching to do evil to your friends community members your family members your husband and wife you are waiting to attack waiting to accuse waiting to insult waiting to make fun of him insult him insult her and hurt her comment dirty comments wearing words remember you are diligently waiting to do some evil surely at the same time evil is coming to your family coming to your personal life that is what the word of god says whoever diligently seeks good seeks favor but evil comes to the one who searches for it praise the lord praise the lord let's examine our conscience many a time it happens my dear brothers and sisters we are waiting to accuse our life partner we are waiting to find mistakes in our life partner when we, we are waiting to uh, uh, blame blame our life partner we are bla- waiting to say lie to our family members we are searching for for pleasures of this world and world and doing evil that means we are diligently searching evil therefore evil will come to us to jesus my brothers and sisters if you are a devout person something is good for you we read like this judith chapter 8 verse 32 book of judith chapter 8 verse 32 we read like this book of judith chapter 8 verse 32 the word of god speaks to us like this praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. Praise, you, jesus. praise you jesus the people came to judith and said like this and judith chapter 8 verse 32 then judith said to them then Ju- judith said to them praise the lord praise 31 let's read the uh, was 31 judith chapter 8 was 31 we read like this now since you are a god fearing woman now since you are a god fearing woman pray for us pray for us so that so that the lord may send us rain the lord may send us to rain fill our to fill our cisterns to fill our cisterns then then we will no longer feel faint from thirst then we no longer feel faint from thirst praise the lord praise the lord now since you are a god fearing woman pray for us this is what people came and told judith since you are a god fearing person pray for us because we know that when you pray the rain will come god will listen to your prayer praise the lord praise the lord Now since you are a god fearing woman pray for us so that the lord may send us rain to fill our cisterns and then we will no longer feel faint from thirst So now my dear brothers and sisters this is something that we all need to remember god fearing person If you are a god fearing person god will listen to you Everybody knows the whole world knows this if you are a god fearing person god god will listen to you be a god fearing person it's not a difficult to part if you are ready to sacrifice your desire for world and focus on god then you are a god fearing person your life should be controlled by the holy spirit you should be thinking about god morning evening afternoon when you sleep when you lie down when you are take rest when you work when you walk when you move when you talk when you chat when you enter into relationship everything in every situation think about god anything that you before before you start and when you start and after you start after you finish think about god when you speak to somebody when you enter into a relationship think about god when you are free think about god whenever you are free talk to god then you are a god fearing person never do anything god does in like in your life then you are a god fearing person then you are going to be powerful because whatever you pray god will listen to you Now since you are a god fearing woman pray for us the lord will do something because you are a god fearing person 
this is the message of the lord the lord wants to give you and me